Hello children, today I'm here to teach you chapter 18 in your textbook. That's algebraic symbols. This is the first lesson in your third term work. So this is an algebra you need and it's really important to know about algebra. So here in this lesson we are identifying known terms, unknown terms and what are variables. What are the symbols in mathematics? We know 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 9. Those are digits. These are digits used in Hindu Arabic number system. So we use 10 digits. What are these symbols? Plus, minus, multiplication, division. These are mathematical operations. So we use mathematical operations, digits. And what are these? Equal sign, greater, less than. These are also symbols that we can use in mathematics. Symbols. So when you take all these, we say, those are the mathematical symbols that we can use. So we can take numbers, divide the operations and here divide by 5 is equal to something, another value. So 2 divided by 5, you can say 2 over 5 like that. So we can use symbols, operations and digits. Look at this one. Add 4 to 7. The answer is equal to 11. How can we write this expression? I can write add 4 to 7 means 7 plus 4 or 4 plus 7. Order is not important. The answer is equal to 11. So this is an expression. So you get digits, mathematical operations and symbols. Add 3 to 9. Add 3 to 9. The answer is more than 10. More. We can use this mathematical symbol. More than, greater than 10. It's true, 9 plus 3, 12. 12 is more than 10. This expression can be written as this 3 plus 9 greater than 10. Express the following expressions using symbol. Subtract 7 from 12. So 12 minus 7. Answer is 5. 3 times of 8, 3 times of 8, multiply by 8, this is equal to 24. 27 divide by 9, 27 divide by 9, the answer is 3. Add 6 to 8, 6 to 8, then divide by 7, answer is 2. We'll check that. 8 plus 6, 14. 14 divided by 7, that's 2. Subtract 11 from 35. Then divide by 8. The answer is equal to 3. Check it. 35 minus 11 is 24. 24 divided by 8, that's 3. In a boarding house, 11 kg of rice, kilograms of rice needed every day. Find the amount of rice needed for a month with 30 days. This expression can be written using symbols as follows. So how can we write down 11 kilos one day for 30 days? That's equal to Multiply by 3 here, 33, and put a 0. That's 330 
kilos. So this is an expression using symbols. There are four wheels in a car. How many wheels are there in four cars? Write down this expression using symbols. In one car, four wheels. Number of wheels in four cars, four times four. That's equal to 16 wheels are there. There are seven days in a week. How many days are there in four weeks? Write down this expression using symbols. So, seven days in one week. 4 weeks, 7 times 4, 28 days are there. There are 40 seats in a bus. Find the total number of seats in 8 such buses. 40 seats in one bus. When you multiply by 8, you get the total number of seats. 8 times 0, 0. 8 times 4, 32. 320 seats are there. Identify unknown and known terms. There are 12 months in a year. So do you agree with that? It's known. Always if you take a year, you get 12 months. So that's known. There are three wheels in a tri-show. Yeah, that's why we call it's a tri. Tri means three wheels are there or we call it three-wheeler. That's true. There are 24 hours in a day. So the numbers 12 and here this is three. So three, not 31. So three, 24, all these are 12, 3, 24 are known values. It is called as known terms. So we know 12, 3, 24, those are known terms. The amount of water in a water bottle is unknown and can be written as. So we don't know exactly the amount of water in a bottle. So we can put X or any letter for that. X liters in that bottle. The amount of rice in a box is unknown and can be written as Y grams. So we can write grams. This is liters. Number of king coconuts in a bunch is unknown and can be written as a number of king coconuts. So we can use any letter, simple letter in the English alphabet to represent unknown values. Write down algebraic terms for the answers. Number of marbles in a bottle. We can put X or any letter that you like. Number of rice grains in a plate. Y. Number of mangoes in a tree. Z. We don't know. Number of stones in a garden. It's difficult to count. We can put A. Length of the playground. B. The height of a TV antenna. C. So, depend on the units, you can say this length of the playground is B meters. This one, the height of TV antenna, that's centimeters. And number of stones, you don't get any units there. Identify whether the following are known or unknown terms. If it is a known term, write down the value. Expression and whether it's known or unknown. 
number of months in a year. We know that. That's known. 12, 12 months in a year. Number of letters in the English alphabet. We know that's 20. Six letters are there in the English alphabet. Number of stars in the sky, can you count? It's unknown. Number of dust particles in the air, difficult to count, that's unknown. Number of digits in Hindu Arabic number system, yes, we know that. How many digits are there? 0 to 9, 10 digits are there. Number of water drops in the sea, we can't count. So that's unknown. What are variables? Siridasa owns a tri show. The amount of money he receives daily changes every day. This is not a fixed value. So therefore we call this as a variable. So any value is not a fixed one. Changing all the time, we call those are variables. Here also we can use letters in English alphabet to represent variables. So learn this word. What are variables? So far we did known terms and unknown terms. Now about variables. The price of a coconut changes daily. Therefore, price of a coconut is X rupees. The distance traveled by a motorbike in an hour changes all the time. So, the distance you can write Y kilometers. Number of days in each month is different. February, sometimes 28, 29. And September 30. December 31. So changes all the time. So we can use any letter. A number of days in a month. Price of an egg changes daily. So you can use any letter there. We'll put Z. Z rupees. Write down where the following statements are variables or constants. Number of players in a cricket team. So that's a fixed amount. So it's a constant. Time taken to travel from Kalambo to Katunayaka in the highway. Depend on the traffic, it changes. So not a constant value. So that's a variable. Number of sides in a regular hexagon? We know hexagon means six-sided polygon. So that's a constant. Number of grams in kilograms? Yeah, thousand grams in one kilogram. So that's a constant value. Number of members in a family? If you take a family, sometimes four, sometimes two, three. So it varies. So we can say X number of families. So you have to write down whether it's a variable or not. It's a variable. Number of students in each class? Yes, it varies. So that's a variable. Amount of rain in last month to Colombo? Yes, it changes all the time. So we don't know. It's a variable. Number of pages in your mathematics textbook? If you take your mathematics textbook, that means grade 6 textbook, fixed number of pages are there. If you take book 1, as a fixed number. It's not changing to a student to a student. So not changing at all. So that's a constant. 
number of letters in Sinhala alphabet? There's a fixed number. It's a constant. Time taken to go to tuition class every day? Yeah, so depend on the traffic. It changes, so that's a variable. Price of one kilo of rice? Each day it changes, so that's a variable. Now we'll look at examples in your textbook. Example number one, let us find the total number of liters of milk that are purchased during a week by a household which purchases two liters of milk each day. So, two liters for one day. So, Find the total number of liters of milk that are purchased during a week. How many days are there? Week is seven days. So two times seven, that's 14 liters of milk. Exercise 18.1. Write down in the second column of the following table. Whether each of the expressions given in the table states a known constant or an unknown constant. In the third column, write down its value by digits if it is a known constant and a suitable algebraic symbol if it is an unknown constant. The number of days in January. That's fixed. Known. 31 days. The number of books in Nima's school bag? We don't know. It changes all the time. Unknown. We can put X. The number of milliliters in 1 liter? Yes, we know that. How many? 1000. 1000 milliliters is 1 liter. The number of words in the grade 6 mathematics textbook? It's unknown. We don't know how many words are there. So take unknown. So you can put any letter that you like. Why? Why number of words? The number of times you took a breath yesterday? Do you know how many times? We don't know. So that's unknown. So we can put any letter, A. Example number one, the daily revenue of a certain shop is, we don't know, we can put any letter, X. The distance a vehicle travels during an hour, Y kilometers. The distance traveled by a vehicle in one liter of petrol, it can be any letter. So we'll put a kilometers. The number of days in the month of February is? It changes. If it's a leap year, you get 29. If it's a normal year, that's 28. So we can say n number of days. So these are variables. Exercise 18.2. Write down whether each of the following is a constant value or a variable. The number of players in a netball team, it's fixed. So you can say that's a constant. The number of bananas in the first comb of a cluster of a banana, it changes all the time. So that's a variable. The time taken for a jet to travel from the Katunayaka International Airport to the New Delhi Airport, even though it's fixed, it changes all the time. So that's a variable.
the number of sides of a square? We know that's four sides in a square. That's the constant value. The number of centimeters in a meter? 100 centimeters in one meter. That's the constant value. The number of limes in one kilogram of limes? We don't know. If it's smaller ones, you get more. If it's bigger limes, you get small number. So it changes variable. The distance traveled by a vehicle on one liter of petrol, it changes. Depend on the speed, it changes. So that's a variable. The time taken by a student to travel from home to school, every day it changes. That's a variable. The daily rainfall, we, we don't know, it changes. So it's a variable. The price of one pound of gold in rupees, every day it changes. That's a variable. The price of one US dollar in rupees changes all the time. That's a variable. The number of days in a year, it can be 365 or 366, depending on leap year or not. So only two possible values, so we can take this as a constant. Not changing all the time. So we can take as a constant. The daily attendance of the children in a particular school, so it changes all the time. So that's a variable. So in this lesson, we discussed about what are variables, known and unknown terms. So now you know how to identify a variable and a constant.